वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश फिफ्टी टू सो स्टेटमेंट इज इफ द बीम इज सब्जेक्टेड टू इंटरनल मूवमेंट ऑफ थर्टी किलो न्यूटन इंटू मीटर डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इन द बीम द बीम इज मेड फ्राम ए नाइन नाइन टू स्टील स्केच द बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ओवर द क्रॉस सेक्शन सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ बीम एंड दैट इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाई अ मूवमेंट ऑफ थर्टी किलो न्यूटन सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द maximum bending stress and then you have to sketch the bending stress distribution over this cross section clear so let's start with the solution so as we know that maximum bending stress is equal to maximum moment into c divided by i clear so where m is the moment c is distance from neutral axis till top or bottom and i is the moment of inertia so if you look at the beam this beam is symmetrical about the mid term so its mm, neutral axis will be this one this is will neutral axis so c will be distance from neutral axis till top or bottom and that will be equal to 150 divided by 2 which is equal to 75 mm so we have this value this value we do not have i so i is section property so we will find this i section property i so i will be equal to if you if we will take this as a box clear and this box having width is 100 and height is 150 mm we will write the moment of inertia for this box and then we will subtract the moment of inertia of these two boxes clear so first i will write 1 over 12 b breadth is total 50 plus 50 is 100 and in meter it will be equal to 0.10 meter and height is 150 mm total height is and in meter it is 0.150 and it will be cube 1 over 12 bh cube minus 2 times this box this box width of this box will be 45 mm and height will be equal to this height will be equal to 120 because 150 minus 15 minus 15 will be 120 and this width is 50 minus 5 because this thickness is 10 so half will be subtracted so 45 so i will write minus 2 times 1 over 12 breadth is 0.045 and height is 0.120 and it will be cube okay so when you solve this you will get the value of i moment in uh, of inertia second moment of inertia about neutral axis comes out to be 15.165 Into ten raised to the power minus six meter power four. Now you have all three values. You can just put it in this formula. So we will put it. Sigma max is equal to m into c divided by i. So moment is thirty kilo newton. So thirty into ten raised to the power three. C was seventy five millimeter. So in term of meter, it is zero point zero seven five. Divide by i, which is fifteen point one six five into ten to the power minus six meter power four. So when you solve this, you will get maximum bending stress comes out to be one forty eight mega pascal. So this will be either in top in this top. or in this bottom so you can see the moment is applied over here so the beam will be bent like it will be the, it will behave like this the upper one will be in compression and the lower one will be in tension clear so this will be the bending stress at this portion now we have been asked to find the bending stress distribution so we will also find the bending stress at these points and this points from neutral axis will be equal to 75 minus this 15 will be equal to 
millimeter so we will find the bending stress at 60 millimeter so at y is equal to 60 millimeter from the neutral axis that is equal to 0 0.06 meter clear what will be the stress so we know that stress at y is equal to 0 0.06 will be equal to if you are going to find upward so it will be minus m into y divided by i so you can just put the value minus 30 kilo newton 13 to 10 to the power 3 into y 0 0.06 divided by i which is 15.165 into 10 to the power minus 6 so stress at y is equal to 0 0.06 meter comes out to be 119 mega pascal so minus 119 mega pascal if you are taking y downward so then y will be equal to uh, y will be equal to minus value minus 0 0.06 and upward y is equal to 0 0.06 meter so if you take downward you can just put it over here this value so it will be plus uh, which shows that downward is in tension now what we will do is that we have this sigma max is equal to 148 megapascal we have sigma y is is equal to 0 0.06 meter is 119 megapascal upward uh, minus 119 megapascal upward and sigma y is equal to minus 0 0.06 meter it will be 119 megapascal downward so we will plot them over the cross section so you can see this is the cross section of this beam there and what if i take the neutral axis will be like this one clear this is the neutral axis so at upward will be in first upward will be in tension and that is let i take it like this like this and i join them like this this is minus 148 megapascal because that is in 10 compression clear and this lower one will be this one clear and that is 119 minus because this will be in compression i will choose another color for the arrowhead Clear. and your stress will be like this one all will be in compression clear so we will join this like this and here it will join like this now at center you know that uh, bending stress will be zero so i will join it with this and join with this this is not okay okay so it will join like this okay same, same is the case in below section you will be having larger movement uh, larger on this side clear this value will be all this value will be in tension and this value is 148 mega pascal and for this this will be 119 
this will be 119 clear 119 mega pascal and when you join them with uh, this it will be like it will be like this it should like this clear So it will distribution will be like this. So if what if I try to draw it by myself? So let if this is the section. There. This is your neutral axis. So here the stress will be like this one. And here stress will be this one clear this will be in compression and if what if we join it with center similarly here the stress will be this one so you can just join with this and below one is the maximum one so let me show you this all will be in compression there this this will be in tension this will be also in tension this flange will be in tensions and this will be the distribution the distribution will be look like this and that was all about problem 6-52 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you are learn you have learned from it those who are new to ch my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching